Hi guys, how are you guys doing? I'm fine, thank you. Thanks for asking. If you're creative or not, have you always encountered the problem of you're not being creative or you're not creative enough? If the answer is yes, this video is for you. And if your answer is no, or comment below on how did you always have this creative because I'm struggling. <laughs> for me, right now I feel that I'm not very creative. I don't, when, when people ask me to think something on the spot, I always struggle because I can't find any reference or have any spontaneous idea that really like wow people. So last week I went to this museum in Lille. It's the top two museum that you need to go when you are here. And the experience was, mm, I'll say it was pretty mediocre. Like the museum itself is not big at all. So there is not much free stuff to see. So just walk around the museum and see what's available for free. So after I got off the bus, I went down this trail and then the first thing I saw is a part of the museum with a very nice design that has little this bee holes or holes in general design to it and it's pretty cool I haven't seen such design in a while so that was pretty pretty nice and I really like how the pattern is irregular yeah that yeah this, this is how when I don't have creativity I don't know what to say but it's fine it's fine I'll, I'll get there we'll get there and then the next thing that I encounters in my mind is this so the first impression was wow that that thing is really gigantic and then I was feeling a bit overwhelmed like that it's a lot to digest with such a big piece of art standing right outside the museum and then besides this gigantic piece of art, there's also little art pieces around the museum entrance where you can take a look. So I started roaming around the, the museum, I wasn't exactly sure where to go. And entered the building, the first feeling I got was the ceiling was pretty low. The hallway was very long and then the visual perspective was pretty strong and had a really big impact on my visual senses. Yeah, so I was impressed by how the painters do their job and how they think of that back all the way back in like 18th centuries. And so after I finished looking at the gallery, I walked around the museum. It was surrounded by a really nice park, I believe. So, and I saw this lake and I immediately with lake I thought about reflection so I stood around took a couple of photos it was really nice the reflection on the water is so mirror like and if the water weren't moving I wouldn't notice or you wouldn't you wouldn't notice that it's water so I went back to Lille and then thinking okay what should I get for lunch and I thought of this Vietnamese uh, restaurant that I saw the other day when I was doing a portrait show with my friend and so I was like why not it's 12 and it's just open shouldn't have a lot of people so I went there so I, I ordered a bowl of pho it looks pretty decent it looks very pretty tasty it is chicken soup based so that's pretty nice but overall I rated a uh, I would say 7.5 out of 10. I, I would say it's pretty high because well, that's the first Vietnamese pho I have over here at Lille. And it's not bad, it's pretty good. Um, the chicken soup was pretty rich, but the chicken was not really tender and the noodle was... I had better noodles. <laughs> Yeah, so that was pretty nice experience and I think I'll visit the restaurant again and try out a couple different things that have um, sandwich as well. So I wandered around the, the area and then I saw this gallery going on that is, a, that is for free. And they have really nice painting that they have paintings with the aesthetics that 
I love, I don't know why. Maybe it's because of this random chaoticness with a splash of color to make it pop. I think that's what my taste like. And yeah, that's that wraps up my art and food day. So whatever I do right now may or may not help me. It might help me directly or indirectly in the future, but I think this is a mindset that all creative that need to do like creating this content like what I'm doing right now it's important create the more you create the more you'll find out what you like what you don't like and what you need to work on that's important but you I think it's, I think it is also important to assimilate to look at different artwork you look at if you're like me a videographer and photographer you look at movies, series, photos on Pinterest or Instagram and then experience different things so that when you need it, you have it right in your head. So this is the end of the video. I hope you liked it. I hope you have taken away something out of this and I'll see you next time.